Welcome to Goring on Thames in Oxfordshire. In 1999, George Michael bought a 16th century cottage here as a rural retreat. Singer Robbie Williams was also interested in the cottage, uh, but George Michael beat him to it. George Michael bought the five-bedroom cottage for £1.65 million, pounds, or $2.3 million. And of course, this is the house where he passed away on Christmas Day 2016. Today I'm going to see if you can still go right up to the house, and I'll also show you the village. If you're not a George Michael fan, uh, hang about for the scenery. He kept uh, pretty much a low profile when he was here, but he did used to go to the pub that was nearest to his house, the Miller of Mansfield. There's actually a picture of him there in July 2016. It's probably one of the last pictures ever taken of him. There's a rather grand boathouse here. In 2004 he let the cameras into the house for the Oprah Winfrey show. You should be able to find this quite easy on YouTube. Uh, he comes across as um, very funny and down to earth in it. Just spotted something here. There's um World War II pillar box here right on the river. It's like a little island on the river. Parthamon actually leads up right up to his house. Got another boathouse here. This one's not as grand as the other one. Getting closer to the house now. One time, uh, one of his dogs made a run for it, tried to make an escape down this uh, towpath here. And one of the neighbours caught the dog and took him back to George Michael. Whoa! He was so grateful to get the puppy back that he became patron of the lady's uh, charity. She worked for an animal rescue charity. And every Christmas after that, she started receiving a luxury hamper from George Michael. Once you get to that little footbridge there, um, you can actually see the front of the house. And there it is. I don't know the floor plan of the house, but you'd assume the master bedroom would be one of those um, top floor windows there. The garden actually extends quite a bit that way, and he had a swimming pool on the right side there, and the pool house, and he used to spend a lot of time in the pool house in the summer with the doors open. I don't know if we'll be able to see that, I'll skirt around to, to the other side in time if you can see the bit of that. Okay. I'll just, um, just go around to the back of the house now. This is the place that was uh, shown on the TV coverage when he passed away. A little cafe across the road there. The gate to the property happened to be open when I was passing. 
I think the red phone box is uh, something more recent. I don't think it was there when George Michael was living there. You're always going to be able to come up right up to the house because this is a public right away to the church here. Just going to skirt around to see if I can see the uh, roof of the pool house. The house is actually a lot smaller than I thought it was. It's very poignant that he died on Christmas Day because he loved Christmas and apparently he used to decorate, decorate the house quite spectacularly with Christmas lights and people used to stop by and take pictures of it. Down here. In the Oprah Winfrey video, he mentions this church and he said that he'd always wanted to live next to a church. The pool house would be directly opposite the entrance of the church here, over there. But you can't really see it and I don't really want to claim on a gravestone to, um, <laughs> to get a picture of it. Here's that uh, pub I was talking about. He would always order white wine in this pub. He was always happy to sign autographs, but he wasn't so keen on photographs being taken. Just resting my legs now, across from the pub. People are very nice here, everybody's saying good morning and that. Uh, you can tell by the cars, there's some really wealthy people here. But it's, it's not all glamour though, because I've stepped in some dog shit earlier. He also managed to fly my drone into my chest. The road's a bit busy here. Wanted to get a shot because um, the artist Turner actually painted. It's a painting by the artist Turner. 
of the mill, uh, the mill house and the um, church there. The painting dates back to 1805. Paintings by Turner don't come on the market very often, but um, they usually sell for upwards of $40 million. There's a cafe just on there. <laughs> it's a bit busy though, but um, if you come here and you want somewhere to eat, um, just come up this road and there's uh, quite a few um, lakeside cafes there. If you want to visit Goring yourself, there's actually a train station in the village and there are track trains from Paddington Station in London. Sign of the times I do believe 